What's going on, everybody? I am back. It is December 18th, Monday slate. Um, I took the weekend off. I woke up Saturday morning with a pretty healthy hangover. It started off as just a fun night out. It ended up with Karis LeVert having what I would only imagine to be the worst basketball game that he's ever had in his life. I, I would guess that he has never had that many minutes and that poor of a game. Um, so that broke me down pretty bad. It tilted me to a level that I didn't think that I could get to. Um, so between that and the hangover Saturday morning, I just didn't care. And then, you know, Sundays are just four games late. Games are spread out. I just I rarely care about Sundays during football season. And I don't even watch football. <laughs> Got a lot of FIFA in. But you guys don't care what uh, I was doing yesterday during the football games you care about fantasy projections so let's let's just do this 10 games tonight i believe yes uh spread out across the night and the one that's going to be the trickiest is the 10 30 game so lovely night for an early lock at least we know no draymond immediately and we don't have to get too weird about it but uh let's start here hornets and knicks um this is a made-up line the line is not out because porzingis is up in the air so I've got Hornets uh, favored by four right now. I'm pretty much assuming Porzingis plays. But Hornets by four, 107 implied total, which would be you know middle of the pack, seventh on the night. Uh, we definitely want to look at Kemba. And you know all these guys on, on the Hornets sort of just look okay. So we want to see sort of what matchup fits the best. Yeah, that, uh, that Karis Levert game. And, you know, Rondé Hollis-Jefferson to an extent. Uh, that messed with me mentally pretty bad. Like, for the first time in a while, I got real tilted. I don't, I don't really care too much about, like, you know, when guys get injured during the games or, you know, late scratches. Because that's all going to come out in the wash. But, like, I thought Levert was in for, like, a good game. And he played, you know the worst game of his life <laughs> it shook me bad okay so Knicks give up a bundle of threes definitely taking a look at Kemba um let's see you would think Dwight Howard would be able to have a big game on Cantor Cantor can't, can't what could Cantor do defensively against Dwight and then we want to look at Marvin Williams. Oh God, everything's zoomed in. Sometimes I hate Excel. No, oh, lost the short list. Okay, so Kemba is at 8,000, which seems like his price went down by like a lot. Is that the case? Kemba Walker, 8,000, sorta. I mean, it went back up, but he was up in those 8-7 area. I just remember him being higher. Now Dwight is down from high 9s to mid 8s. So there's a lot to like here for the Hornets. Um, pull them up. Why is that so spread out? It's going to be one of those days, I think, guys. Kemba needs 40, and he has not been there in a while. But you'd have to think that the Knicks would be the cure for what ails him. Um, now Marvin Williams is at 44, so he needs 22. Uh, uh, not there in his last three. Decent stretch in that middle set. Yeah, I mean... It, Perfectly acceptable filler tonight, I think, at power forward. Not a guy I'm going to, like, seek out. Um, I don't need any of Batum or Lamb or MKG. Although MKG has been playing pretty well lately. Has his salary moved dramatically? Back down 600. Okay. Needs 24, which he has done in three of his last six. T 
two huge games. I'm going to avoid it. Dwight needs 42. He's done it once in his last five. Twice in his last six. But the games that he didn't get it, he hit 36. So that's not a killer. Um, he should be able to just do whatever he wants to to canter. So I'm in for at least exploring a lot of that. Nobody that I have to have, but if any one of those three guys pop a lot on the optimizer, then I'll take a, a much closer look. Uh, and we'll head to the Knicks. Again, I'm assuming that Porzingis plays. Knicks have, in my opinion, 103 implied total, which is 12th. I could see that falling pretty dramatically with Porzingis out. get this coffee in me. Dragon. Okay. No thanks on Courtney Lee. Uh, I just, I can't look at Borzingis. I don't trust it. I don't really think there's any part of the Knicks that look good. Yeah, I don't see it tonight for anything on the Knicks. Um, you know, if Porzingis is out, you need to look at... Maybe you don't even need to look at Beasley. It's 5,900 on Fandle. Um, if Porzingis is out, though, you know, Cantor and O'Quinn look better just because they're probably going to have to play some more minutes. But I don't want any part of the Knicks tonight. Pacers and Celtics. Um, Celtics are two and a half point favorites on the road. Pacers 101.5 implied total, which is 16th on the night. Um, surprising to me how much the Pacers or how much the Celtics can pull them down. Oladipo Depot down to 9,300 now after his brief, brief uh, flirting with uh, being a 10K player. I'm willing to take a look at Oladipo. I'm willing to take a look at Thad. I think Miles Turner could be an interesting play here. Um... I never trust Collison. I'm never right. He needs like 27. He's just not there right now. Oladipo needs 46. She hit it. His last one. And he's been there in three of his last six. How often does Boston turn the ball over? I assume, like, never. Okay, ninth. That's... You know, middle of the pack. I feel like I'm forcing it if I say that I like Oladipo. But it seems like more of a GPP play than anything else. There's going to be a lot better options in cash. I'll avoid it. No thanks on Bojan. Thad needs 30. It's been in that area lately. I'm okay with it. And Miles Turner needs 40. He's hit it in two of three. He has been coming on. How much has this price changed? That's really the answer to all of this. Down. It was up to 83, down to 79. <clears throat> nah, I don't see it. Just sad for me, but nothing interesting coming out of Indiana. It's not really the game to stack either, so. To the Celts. 
104 implied total, which is 10th on the night. Should be a decent look for Kyrie, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, I'd be fine with Kyrie. I'd be fine with Horford. And probably Jalen. So Kyrie needs 40. Not the best game in his last one out, but two games above 40 before that. Um, yeah, I'm fine with it. Can't type. Jalen needs twenty seven. Who guards Jalen Brown? Like Bojan? Yeah, I'm okay with Jalen here. And now Horford, seventy six. So that's thirty eight. That feels safe. Starting to become a real weird short list <laughs> through four games. Um, let's go to Atlanta. Hawks 99.75 implied total. Uh, second worst on the night, which is, bleh, you know, it's the Hawks. Um, I imagine I don't want any part of this. The Hawks are in a situation where, you know, if everybody's healthy, you probably don't want any of their guys. They're going to be not the best look. What was the... Okay, Heat. So... They give up something pretty poorly, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I think Prince is okay. Schroeder against the Heat. No, I'll pass. And this game had for the Heat... Um, obviously no, no white side, James Johnson is out, I think somebody else is out too, but no white side, no James Johnson, so the heat will be interesting to take a peek at, um, I'm willing to look at Prince, and that's probably it, Ilyasova, I guess as well, he's been getting increased minutes, needs 25, um, you know, he's been there in four of the last seven. He's going to be getting a diet of, like, Kelly Olenek, Bam, Jordan Mickey. So, I'll take a peek at him. I say Prince or Bazemore. Same person, in my opinion. Prince. Needs 27. Um, four of five, or four of six, almost five of six. It's a bit of a force, but how did I spell Elias over on? Not enough. No, missed the, missed the A. Okay. Now the Heat are going to be a pretty interesting team to look at. Uh, 102.25 implied total, 13th on the night, and like I said, no James Johnson, so big men are going to be pretty interesting. You want to play Kelly Olynyk on DK at 5,000, I think that's a no-brainer. Maybe Justice Winslow? 3,600 on FanDuel is interesting. Even Jordan Mickey at 3,900 might be worth a peek. Played really well in the last one. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the Heat. This won't matter too much for guys like Jordan Mickey. Who, what, like 100 minutes played? 72 minutes played? Yeah. Um, okay. Bombs away. Uh, it's Wayne Ellington GPP night, everybody. 
they give up. Oh my God, they Hawks give up so many threes. Guys like Wayne are gonna love that. So we want to look at Josh Richardson. I need to look at everybody here. So Gora needs thirty. I'm going to pass there. Fire up Wayne in a GPP. Josh Richardson needs 27. Yeah, this could be a really big Josh Richardson night. Justice Winslow needs 20, we'll say. Well, I'm not going to take that risk. Olenek's price is dramatically up, so I'm not really super interested in him on FanDuel, but he looks good on DraftKings. Jordan Mickey needs 20. I don't think he's a cash play, but GPP for sure. And then Bam needs 25. No thanks. This is just a game that looks a lot better on DK than it does on FanDuel. I don't see really anything for me besides Josh Richardson. My boy Goron could na can get there, but... Uh, somebody's going to pop here, but I just don't know who it is. Let's go to the Bulls. Did I type that in anywhere? Probably over there. Uh, Bulls, 103.25 implied total. Three-point underdogs at home, uh, hosting the Sixers. No Embiid, no Trevor Booker. So, Sixers will look a little good. But Bulls, um, if Markinen is playing, and I have the assumption that Markinen is, is playing, I don't think that you can play him or Miritich or Portis. Um, we don't really know how the numbers are going to shake out. And then I'm avoiding you know, guys that overlap with them as well. So, like I think David Nawaba could be a decent play, but I just need to see how these rotations come out. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of getting any of the Bulls anyway. Um, but I think we need a game where they're all healthy to see sort of how that rotation looks. Chris Dunn at 7,500 on FanDuel, 38. Um, I'd be, I'd be fine with Chris Dunn. And then Rolo needs 27. No Embiid. I'm okay with that as well. Let's go straight to Philly now. So we should expect a lot of minutes from Rashawn Holmes. I like a mirror at minimum salary. He might just be the cost of doing business tonight. I've got to wake up. Ugh. Alarm went off and I was not super stoked about it. It was not um, what I was looking for. Okay. So, Sarich is a go. Covington is a go. Obviously, we want to look at Rashawn Holmes. So, let's do that. Um... I'm not really interested in McConnell or Bayless. Reddick needs 30. He's been there in what amounts to four, his last four, you know, 28 or higher. Um, it's hard for me to see him going really, really crazy without hitting a, just an absolute mess of threes. So I'm going to skip out on that. Covington needs 37. 
He's hit that in his last three that he's been able to play. Obviously, the triple OT game is helping there. Um, but it should just be a good game for him. Ben Simmons, um, it's going to be tough for me tonight. He needs 50. Like, he's not the best without Embiid. And they tend to limit, you know, Rolo tends to limit um, stuff in the mid range. So I'm going to look more at Sarich at 32. He needs. So he's done that in two of his last four. Um, I'm comfortable with it. He's going to pop up a lot. Um, much like Amir. Last time Embiid sat, Amir put up 30 in 24 minutes. The game before that, he also put up 10 in 21 minutes. You have to be looking at him just because um, if Booker were out, it'd be a different story. Or Booker was playing, it'd be a different story. But, you know, Amir should get minutes. They have 48 minutes to split at center. Um, so, like, you gotta kinda like one of the two. I don't assume that they'll go ultra small. Um, and then Rashawn Holmes needs 22. Uh, yeah, he's just got to look at him. Last two times Embiid sat, Holmes played 24 minutes and 20 minutes, put up 33 in one game, 17 in another. You know, the 17 game isn't the best, but he has the ability to put up a lot at that salary. And I don't see any differences um, between DK and FanDuel, so everything I'm saying there is the same across the board. I'll go to the Rockets. Um, Rockets hosting the Jazz. I think I set this line myself. Um, but I would have the Rockets with the second highest implied total. And I am assuming that Capella plays, but that doesn't super change anything for me for right now. Outside of, like, you'd have to look at P.J. Tucker. Guys like are black for once. No news on favors. I'm assuming that he plays. Um, if he doesn't play, that'll open up some interesting stuff for the Jazz. Jarebko. Ekbe Udo, probably. Okay, so... And Paul's price is up a bundle, but he looks good tonight. Chris Paul needs 50, which is obviously a lot. He's He hit 50 in three of his last four. Four of his last six. Yeah, I, I'm fine with Chris Paul. And then... It's just a different game without Gobert in the center. Dude, how are they at free throw rate? Jazz give up... Okay, so they do give up a lot of free throws. How did they do when or when Gobert was out? Did they give up more? Yeah, kind of average. Okay. So I'm Harden at 11. That means his price has gone down. Yeah, okay. I will happily entertain James Harden at 11,000. Who's going to guard him? 
Nobody. And then Ryan Anderson. Jazz are pretty good at limiting threes. So I'm going to ignore him here. I think that's probably it for me. Um, keep an eye on the Capella news, though. That obviously opens up value. Utah. Jazz, pretty big underdogs. Uh, 100.75 implied total, which would be 18th out of 20 on the night. Um... You know, you're, we're banking on favors not being healthy to bring any value to this. Did I close that? Apparently I did. I can't imagine wanting to have any real part of this unless you think that Donovan Mitchell is just really going to go crazy. Yeah, I'll look at Mitchell. Probably Ingles and Hood. But I don't think I'm going to want any part of it. So, I definitely don't want any part of Rubio, even though he had a big game a couple nights ago. It's still hard to trust. Especially going against Paul. Let's see, Mitchell, 74, needs 37. He's been all over the map lately. But, you know, you got to assume that he's going to be getting a healthy dose of James Harden, I guess. Or unless they put a Reza on him and put Harden on Ingles. I'll entertain it. Ingles needs 26. He's been above 20 in... His last six, but nothing above 30, so I don't really love that. And then I don't really want any other part of this. It's all contingent upon favors news. If we find out he's out, then we want to look at Joe Johnson. Um, we want to Joe Johnson for sure. He's at minimum salary on FanDuel. Um, and then probably Jarebko and Ekbe Udo are both in play. But then you're worried about... Then you want to think about who is going to play in a blowout. Because the Rockets, if they don't have favors, the Rockets are going to be like 15-point favorites at home. And they should they should spank them pretty healthy. That's not where I wanted to type that. All right, T-Wolves. Halfway there. Timberwolves, 107 implied total. Five-point favorites against the Blazers. Jimmy Butler is questionable. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to play because... You know, it's tips. Just shoot him up with some cortisone or something. Shoot his ass out there. He doesn't care. Should be a fun game. I'd like to watch a little bit of this. Even though the Timberwolves are really not fun to watch. Okay. Gotta like Towns. And then... Man, I'd like Butler as well. I like everybody. Let's think about it here. Teague needs 32. He got there in the last one. It's a relatively big game. Um, but he's been up and down. It's a good matchup for him, though. I'd be okay with that. Wiggins needs 31. I'm going to fade Wiggins, which means that it should be a Wiggins night for everybody. I can't get him right. Butler needs 45. Um, he's been there one, two, three, four, five times in his last seven. Um, you know, barring any weird news, I'd be fine with taking him. Taj needs 29. No reason to suspect that couldn't happen. And Towns is, holy shit, 10-7. He's 8,800 on DK. Okay, well, you're absolutely playing 
towns on DraftKings. That's not even like up for debate. Um, where are they hiding? I should fade these out as much. There we are. I'm saying this game's a pick. A new line come out? It's not even a line out. Where are you gonna pick? Are you just making that one up? I guess. Towns is oh my god. Well, he has been going bananas. He was eighty four hundred a week ago. No, nope. thirteen days ago. That's fucking ridiculous. I don't think I could take him here. He needs fifty four, which he's been there. You know, basically every game in his last five. He shouldn't have any problems against um, Nurkic. I don't. I don't want to spend up there. I'm hoping that there are better spots to spend up, and I just take Holmes or something. But holy balls, play play Carl Towns on DraftKings. I know that the average watch time to these videos is like 14 minutes. So, half of you aren't even hearing this news. But, if you're getting to this point, play Carl Towns on DraftKings. He's 8,800. You'd be crazy not to. If you could hear my dog barking, say hi to Riggs. He seems to be saying hi to the other dogs in the neighborhood. Okay. Blazers. In my opinion, five-point underdogs in Minnesota. Um, 102 implied total would be 14th. Time to find out if this is the CJ game or the Dame game. It's just perfect because they have two very distinct styles. So one of the two normally pops. Damn dog just won't stop barking. He's like this close to being able to jump over the fence and go check out the dogs in the neighbor's yard, which is just crazy because it's a fence that's like, you know, I gotta be on my tiptoes to, to see over the top of it. He's just out there like he's jumping on a trampoline. Okay, so Minnesota's D is just basically gonna give up corner threes, which doesn't really affect Dame or CJ at all. That's like the first time I've seen that. Okay, so I prefer Dame to CJ by a healthy margin. And I guess I'll take a look at Aminu. I don't really want any other part of this. Dame needs 43. I'm okay with it. No thanks on CJ. Aminu needs 25. Um, he can get there. I would expect him to get legit minutes just because of sort of the way that the T-Wolves play. I don't really want any part of Nurkic. And then if you really want to get crazy, you can take a look at Evan Turner. But I'm good. OKC, there's so many games. Thunder hosting the Nuggets. Uh, 107 implied total, which is 7th on the board. Which should come as no surprise, but we're going to take a look at Russ and um, Paul George and Carmelo Anthony. And the assumption right now is that um, Adams is still in the concussion protocol and will not be playing tonight. Which makes Jokic interesting. Because I would imagine that Jokic would just dine on Dakari Johnson. Okay. Well, I mean, we're looking at the top three, and I don't... I guess Patrick Patterson could be in play if we heard that he was going to play like 25 minutes, but that's probably just a DraftKings thing. Okay, Russ is at 11-3, so he needs 55. There is no point guard defense. 
so yeah, let's. I'm gonna like Ross a lot. I think he might get locked if I had to guess based on value. And then Paul George needs 40. Yeah, I'll keep firing them up. <laughs> Get there eventually. Mello needs 33. Yeah, I don't think I like Mello tonight. Yeah, I'm good. That's it for me in Oklahoma City. To Denver we go. Moutier, the only person that's uh, up in the air, as far as I can tell. Nuggets 101.5 implied total, which is 16th on the night. We'd like to see a little bit better than that from them. That's the thunder. All right, take a drink if I copy the wrong stuff. Puppy dog's still out there barking. I can hear the wife yelling at him. Doesn't seem to be giving a single shit. <laughs> she wants him to come inside. He'll get it out in doggy daycare today. Okay, so yeah, everybody looks good, particularly Trey Lyles, who I wish I would have stayed on um, Friday night. Ended up putting up 39 in 30 minutes, so whatever. I still like Trey Lyles. Barton 67, Gary Harris 67, which means I like Will Barton. Wilson Chandler, 4,500. I mean, he should get minutes. They, he's like the type of guy that would be perfect with uh, Paul George and <clears throat> Mello out there, but who knows? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I just like Denver. I would like to like Jokic, but not at 8,900. That's just too much. Cool. I had to take a quick pause. I hope this is still uh, working correctly. We'll find out. Had to take a quick break. Deal with the dog. So that's the first time I've ever tried to pause one of these recordings. So I hope that just went seamlessly. We'll find out. Anyway, done with Denver. Um, three games left. Let's head to Dallas. Mavs. Uh, <laughs> Six and a half point favorites at home against the Suns. Fourth highest implied total. I didn't expect to have a game where we would want to have multiple Mavs, but here we are. Obviously the Suns are atrocious. This should be an Alex Len sits game. That's the assumption. Yeah, so we want, I think Harrison Barnes. Wes Matthews, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, I have projected for 26 minutes tonight. He's supposed to be back or potentially back. Could actually be a really big game for him. Um, uh, that's not a. I, I would like Dennis Smith Jr. if he's back in a GPP. Wes, Matt, well, let's let's look at Barnes first. He needs 35. Um, has not been there in his last five or six. What has his price done? His price is up. That's interesting. So he hasn't been, he's been to 35 twice in... Basically a long-ass time. But it's the Suns. And the Suns are bad. So if you're ever going to take Harrison Barnes, this is the spot. Max. 
needs 22. Um, I mean, as low as 10 in back to back. 26, 34, 17, 38. Shout out numbers now. Uh, I feel like I need to like more than this. Wes needs 24. Shoots. Yeah, the Suns do limit threes, so I'm going to avoid Wes. I don't know. I don't see it. I think I'm just going to stick with Barnes there. I mean, Dirk is fine. There's just limited upside. He could have just a really efficient offensive game, but only take like nine shots. Let's check out the Suns now. Uh, House doesn't have a position on FanDuel. He's not listed, so that's why you see that broken stuff at the top. Um, okay, so Euless, Daniels. That's about it for me. TJ Warren, maybe. Price is down again. <sighs> I'm excited to play tonight. I needed those two days to just get over that stank of Levert. Um, Suns, 100 point, or yeah, 100.0. Uh, 101 implied total, 17th. I'll take a look at TJ Warren, Daniels, and Eulis, and that's probably it. Eulis needs 22. Um, oh God, he's up and down. Wait, Isaiah Cannon played 27 minutes. How did I miss that? Why is he not showing up? Do I have him on a different team? Do indeed. Nope. Move him to Phoenix. Project him for 20 minutes. Resort. Now we have too many minutes for the Suns. We probably need to pull somebody's minutes. I don't know how I missed this. I assume that they give Mike James the run instead of House tonight. So let's pull House's minutes. Never mind what I said before. Okay, I still don't want Euless. I don't want Isaiah Cannon. I don't really want Troy Daniels, but I guess he, like, I mean, he could be a decent punt. I think that's GPP. I don't really want any part of the Suns tonight. They're just not very good. Okay. Final two games. Uh, Spurs hosting the Clippers. <sighs> Dreadful game. Spurs, 11-point favorites at home. 107.25 implied total is fifth. You would have to assume that it's going to be difficult to play Spurs tonight. Pop could be just Pop could do anything in this particular case. Home game against the Clippers. Clippers are down on their luck. I guess is probably the best way to describe it. But I think we want to look at Danny Green, sort of Aldridge. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with like Parker, Mills. I guess Danny Green needs 24. Uh, I'll pass. I don't really think that anything stands out here. 42 for LaMarcus. Hasn't had a huge game in a while. Would be getting a diet of whoever the hell the power forward is for the Clippers right now. Not Blake Griffin. Uh, 
Who the hell is the... Who, I, they're just bad. Harold, I guess. Sam Decker. Bryce Jones. Jesus. Jamil Wilson. It's going to be hard to not look at Aldridge tonight, but he could be... you got to really worry about a blowout here. Pow needs 25. I don't trust them, and it's, it's hard to trust anything on San Antonio tonight. So we'll go to the Clippers. Uh, the assumption is Austin Rivers will be back. They have a 95.75 implied total, dead last on the night. This is not a team you're looking for for um, anything of value, especially if Rivers is back. You kind of just want to figure out who the hell is going to get burned in the fourth quarter if they're getting their asses handed to them. Lou Williams is 71. Oh, boy. How much did that drop? It's Lou Williams night tonight. Down from 8,500. Lou Williams. Yep. I mean, you have to. have to have to be on Lou Williams I don't mean like he's a lock I just mean like if his price is back down to 7100 sign me up Taya Dosich needs 25 um, I'm okay with it I'm not gonna seek it out if he shows up he shows up but I think Lou Williams is the only piece of the puzzle here I want DeAndre needs 40. Man. Salary is down even though he's been playing well. Feels like a trap, but I'll look. I have to look at him. Now we head to the final game of the night. Uh, Lakers and Warriors. Warriors I have as a 7-point favorite in LA. Um, this is Kobe retirement night um my assumption is that kcp plays for the warriors no curry no draymond no zaza lots to like in this game it's a terrifying game to want to be a part of because of it being the last game on the slate it's always tricky so we don't want to see any injury news in this game but I think we're going to want a decent part of it. Um, so I'll take a look at Brandon Ingram. I'll take a look at KCP. I like, I sort of like most of this game. Lonzo needs 36. He's been playing pretty well. Um, I'd be perfectly okay with that. KCP needs 27. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm going to want to have a lot of this game. Ingram needs 35. That's probably not the one for me. I could see him getting there in garbage time, which is going to be frustrating. Kuzma needs 27. That's one I'm definitely interested in. His, I want to say that his price is down, if I had to guess. Because he's popping up pretty heavily here. Everybody's price is down. Kuz down 300 more. Caldwell Pope is down 500. Ball is down 200. Randall needs 26. I'm going to avoid that one. And then Brooke Lopez needs 20. Not really the spot for me. And finally we go to Golden State. I have a sneaky suspicion that Kevin Durant is going to look balls here. Warriors with the highest implied total. In LA, um, hopefully they're they just want to go out and ruin this Kobe retirement night, but we'll see. Well, 
Lakers give up a ton of buckets at the rim. So, Clay needs 36. Not the spot for me. McCaw at minimum salary. I just don't think he gets the usage for it to be interesting. Durant at 12, so he needs 60. Sign me up. Nobody on the Lakers can stop Durant tonight. Caspi needs 22. Um, I'd be fine with that. I won't take them both, but if I'm somehow not on Durant. Iggy needs 22. It's fine. Can't even start. I'll start all three small forwards. Start some new game. And Jordan Bell needs 20. Four. I mean, you got to look at them. That all looks good to me. So there's the short list, a.k.a. the long list for tonight. I think the most interesting thing is going to be throwing this into the optimizer right now and figuring out what spits out. Where did Isaiah Cannon go? That's gonna fuck shit up. There it is. Man, this is gonna be really interesting. I don't really have a good feel for where this is gonna go. Let's put my guess in. Who's gonna pop out as interesting? Uh, so Russ is definitely going to be above everybody. That's just too big of a gap. We're not going to be paying up at shooting guard. It's going to be Russ and Durant. Yeah, Russ and Durant are going to show up a lot here, I believe. Why don't you, Why don't you just load automatically? Five percent. Fifty. What do we got? Okay, not Durant. Interesting. Russ, though. Everywhere. No Durant at all. Huh, Twelve of fifty. Okay. Russ, Durant, remove filter. Now let's see what pops. A lot of Holmes, a lot of Bell, a lot of Donovan Mitchell. Okay. I don't like all those bulls. Let's do Holmes. Let's do Bell. I'm not locking Donovan Mitchell just because of his salary. Um, I need two shooting guards. I'm hoping Lou Williams shows up there. No sign of him. I'd rather have Lou Williams than Donovan Mitchell. I'll tell you that much right now. Looks like KCP is going to have to be a part of this. I need a small forward and a power forward. So that would be... I'm not going to go Nwaba. I'd rather not go Caspi. Looks like Prince is probably my best bet there. Power forward would be, yeah, I'd be okay with Lyles. I think that I'm going to be excited about playing tonight. That's nice. I'd really like to get uh, some rockets into this game, but I don't know if that's going to be feasible. Let's step down to Lou Williams. 
just don't want to take anybody from the Jazz. I really want to capitalize on that Lou Williams price drop. But it's almost forcing me to take Rubio or Teo, and I don't want to do that. What if I go to Jeff Green? That gives me Justice Winslow, so pass. Okay, so we're going to be somewhere in there. There's going to be a build. There'll be news that opens things up, but I like a lot of Russ and Durant, and then I'll probably be on some combo of Lyles and Bell and Holmes. I really like Lou Williams tonight. Whether Spurs, no Spurs. His price dropping to 7,100. Um, he's one of those guys where, you know, he's in... You know, he needs 35 for value, but Lou Williams can put up 60. And that's rare. He's got that ability. So anytime he's going to have like a $1,300 price drop, I'm interested. Now, I know somebody, a lot of people have been asking, you know, can I do a, a, a quick build for DraftKings as well? My answer is no. I hate all of you that play on DraftKings. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to throw this in there and just kind of go over what my thoughts are. <sighs> I really like Mondays, as weird as that sounds. I've got like a weird amount of mental energy right now. I'm starting to get the blood flowing. I've drank you know, 20 ounces of coffee. It's quarter to eight. Don't care about that. Let's do... 30 lineups. Shazam. Oh, no. Unshazam. Stop. Uncrunch. We want a little bit of randomness. If you're ever curious why I add 5% of randomness, I should probably add a little bit more, but we should, you should never be projecting one guy at, say, 30 points, and then it's just always 30. You know, you want some sort of range. Okay, that's a lot of interestingness here. So I would say that Bell stays. I'm going to say that Donovan Mitchell stays. Holmes stays. Russ stays. And then uh, Carl Anthony Towns, I think, has to be a part of a lineup. That price is just too good. I would be perfectly okay with this first lineup that's showing here. Um, Russ, Nawaba, Lyles, Holmes, Towns, Mitchell, Saric, Bell. I think that looks perfectly okay. Um, if you didn't want to go with Nawaba, I don't even really see a good step down shooting guard. So you can move Mitchell to shooting guard. Is there another point guard that looks better? Not really. What was Lou Williams' salary here? 74, okay. So it's not as appealing. Any forward can be used. I think I just like that first lineup. Russ, Nawaba, Lyles, Holmes, Towns, Mitchell, Saric, Bell. I mean, if there's a way to get to Durant, I'd, I would be intrigued by that. But I think that looks good. Or, I mean, a lot of this looks good. You know, I'm okay with Nawaba, Thad, and Trey Lyles. I'm fine with Nawaba, Covington, Caspi. Lots of options there. All right, guys. So that is it for me. Um, I will be back tonight at 6 for a live before lock. Um, and I'm going to do a... I'm going to try to put together a calendar on my website that marks off exactly when I'm going to do everything. I think I sort of owe you guys some structure. Um, now that... You know, I've had a lot of people just be interested in this. And I need to take it a little bit more seriously. 
So um, I'm going to put a calendar out for expectations of everything that's going to be coming out. Um, shout out to, I don't know how else to say this because this is the way that they registered on Patreon. Uh, shout out to Macho Man Randy Savage for becoming my newest patron. Uh, it's nice to see that you were able to do that from the grave. Uh, I'm going to snap into a Slim Jim because of this, so thank you very much. Uh, like the video, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my website for projections, check out Patreon if you're interested in becoming one of my patrons, which would be dope. Um, we'll be around for Live Before Lock tonight at 6, and uh, good luck tonight.